I want to talk today about doing good. You know, a, a lot of times I, I think that there's kind of like, um, th there's a stigma about our whole movement, like all you guys do is believe in miracles. And I do think that we, we have felt for 40 years that the Lord wanted us to emphasize this, nothing is impossible with God. Amen. That we have, we are, we, we have, we, are, we don't apologize for the fact that we believe God can do anything. And that we want to equip people to do signs and wonders and miracles along with other works. And yet the truth is, the Bible says that the first thing Jesus did before he did miracles, healing, or signs and wonders, it says he went about doing good. How many of you know when you're doing good, when you're doing good works, you're doing the work of the kingdom? <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Let's look at this. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we may walk on them. But did you notice that we were created for good works? Help me over here. Yeah. Did you notice that the reason why you were created was for good works in Christ Jesus? Yeah. Try here. Yeah. Did you know that you were created for good works? Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Second point. Did you notice that the good works you were created for were predestined in Christ Jesus? That he actually predetermined the works that you would do before he created you? He created the work? God says, I prepared the work, then I prepared you. In other words, the reason why I know I can accomplish the work is because first God prepared the work, and then he goes, okay, I'm going to equip you to do the work. Therefore, you can't fail because you were specifically equipped to do this job. 